Boys and girls, today we will begin selecting a class president. I'm not allowed to vote, but I strongly suggest you elect Martin. Martin? As your president, I would demand a science fiction library featuring an ABC of the overlords of the genre. Asimov, Mr. Clark. Well, what about Ray Bradbury? I'm aware of his work. Thank you, and keep watching the skies. Excellent, excellent, Martin. Any other nominations? We nominate Bart Simpson. Speech! Speech! I had a speech ready, but my dog ate it. <laughs> Children! Good bark. I need someone very reliable to deliver an important message to the principal's office. Would you do it for me? Why, Mrs. Krabappel, how would I know where the principal's office is? <laughs> People! What have I told you about encouraging him? When Bart wins approval for making a fool of himself, it makes him think that he's... Yay, Bart! In a sample taken in this very classroom, a state inspector found 1.74 parts per million of asbestos. That's not enough. We demand more asbestos. More asbestos. More asbestos. More asbestos. More asbestos. More asbestos. He says there aren't any easy answers. I say, he's not looking hard enough! The polls will be open from now until the end of recess. Now, just in case any of you have decided to put any thought into this, we'll have our final statements. Martin. I don't think there's anything left to say. Bert. Victory party under the slide! Hey, thanks for the vote, man. I didn't vote. Voting's for geeks. Well, you got that right. Thanks for your vote, girls. We forgot! Well, don't sweat it. Just so long as a couple of people did, right, Newhouse? Uh-uh. Lewis? Oh. Somebody must have voted. What about you, Bart? Didn't you vote? Uh-oh. <gasps> ah! I demand a recount. One for Martin, two for Martin. Would you like another recount? No. Well, I just want to make sure. One for Martin, two for Martin. <laughs> this way, Mr. President. Thank <laughs> you.